So with the release of the script for Vic and the ability to get clues more regularly from skilling, I thought it'd be a good idea to get back to gaining some XP and working on 200 mil. Um, I chose archaeology as a good place to start because of the passive rewards you get from it, such as clues and money. So I set myself the reasonably sized goal of uh, 100 hours and tracking my progress of it. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did and everything that I got from it now. I decided to farm the Red Rum Relic 3 collection log because of the guaranteed Tetra Compass piece reward from handing each one in. Um, Tetra Compasses have Elite and Master Clues as common slots on their drop table as well as giving you some materials and other items which adds up in money quite quickly. I spent most of the, my time at the 115 spot due to the fact that you need all three artifacts from here but it also gives the spear tip chance which sadly I didn't get and it's uh, mega rare so you can't really expect to get it but it's nice to have the chance of some extra money especially when you're paying for the upkeep of the book. The other relic you need to complete the log is from the 119 spot which is within the forge and I'll just quickly have that in the background now some footage of it. You actually get two artifacts from this spot but you only need one for the collection log so you can either go to other spots to do other logs to do with that or just leave it in your bank as I have after restoring it from some XP. After the 100 hours or so I ended up with 196 of each artifact um, which I restored all in one go for some pretty crazy XP rates and I actually got most of the materials that I needed from excavating but this is because going back to the 119 spot um, and only using one of the artifacts there I obviously spent a long time there because you can get two um, but I'll give a full breakdown of the cost at the end once I'd restored them all I just made a preset with uh, six of each artifact and then setting the quick teleport on the master archaeology outfit and then using the PVM hub I was able to really quickly teleport back and forth handing them in. You might actually be able to fill your invent with um, seven of each artifact but I wasn't sure if you'd need invent space to claim that first tetra compass piece. Handing them all in got me nearly 1.8 million chronotes and enough tetra pieces to make 49 compasses and then adding in all the pieces that I actually got whilst excavating for all those hours I had 59 in total. You need certain materials to put the tetra compasses together and then you power them up at the obelisk at the archaeology guild to complete them and then once you've done that they just work similarly to arrow step clues and it's quite easy to quickly locate the correct spot just with a um, couple of teleports around. There's not loads of different locations um, that they can be in so it's always worth checking all of your tetras once you've found a spot just to make sure that none of the others in your invent are in the same place and it'll just save you a bit of time. With all the caskets stacked up I started opening and handing in all the XP tomes which are a guaranteed reward from them. I think you get either one or two from each casket and this process was pretty annoying for me because my bank is in absolute state so it was just constantly filling up with all the damaged artifacts but all the rewards made it bearable and I'll get into those now. So this is the total amount of clues I ended up with from all the archaeology and finishing 200 mil. Um, this includes the procs from the scripture of Vic, it includes the Prosper perk that I had for my Matuk, as well as the clues I got from the Tetra Compasses and also the Tetra Compasses can give Triskelion key pieces, so those are guaranteed elite as well. Um, just as a little disclaimer though, I actually had some clues already which I've just made a note of and I'll put up on the screen now. Um, not too many, it was just a few that I had in my carrier and in my bank from just before I started doing archaeology. To give you the hourly rate that I got for clues gained over this whole process, I just uh, divided the total by 103 because I probably spent a few hours um, on solving all those tetras and opening all the caskets and stuff. So uh, yeah, it ended up being about 0.5 masters per hour, uh, 5.1 elites per hour and 4.9 hards per hour. And this was obviously all whilst training archaeology and I managed to go from 134 mil XP uh, all the way to 200 mil and quite comfortably over 200 mil actually because I've still got that entire stack of the second artifact from the 119 spot which I haven't even restored yet. Now in terms of the cost of supplies the biggest outgoing was obviously the scripture of Bic and the pages so one page lasts 45 minutes so for the 100 hours I needed 
about 133 and they're currently buying for just over 2 mil I believe. So at the cost of 2.1 mil each and 133 pages that's about 280 mil total spent on that. And next I used the Spirit Attraction potions because that enabled me to AFK a bit more. They just would automatically claim the sprites that appeared and uh, I did actually miss a few. I, I tried to keep track of everything I missed because you'd be able to see it in your um, chat box. So I have my notes down as 10 missed. So maybe I missed a load of elites and masters there, but it was probably more likely to be some mediums and hards. The spirit attraction potions cost about 230k each and last for 36 minutes, I believe. So in total, I would have used about 170 or so which puts the price at just under 40 mil for those. And finally, I had to spend about 70 mil on the extra archeology span supplies, the materials that I needed to restore all the artifacts. For instance, one of the artifacts requires third age iron, but you don't actually get that from either of the spots that you'll camp for this collection. There were a couple of other outgoing costs such as the porters but I genuinely have no idea how many I used and there's lots of different types you can use and some people might have, have a lot from um, Prif Thieving so that can vary quite a lot player to player I think and then also the Water Fiend pouches and scrolls but the cost of those is quite minimal so I'm not going to bother including that. On screen now I've put as many of the rewards that I got from handing all these in and opening the Tetras. Um, as I could fit in one invent so there was probably another 30 to 50 mils worth of items that I couldn't fit in but just to show you this obviously the bulk of the money is from the chronos and this more than covers everything that I spent doing this so all the cost of the pages and all the supplies and that's before you've even done the clues themselves and I'll bring up a breakdown of the profit that you get from each clue tier at the moment. I found this on the Clue Chases Discord and just as a little disclaimer it is from earlier this year but I'm pretty sure that dyes have actually rocketed in price over the last few months and uh, fortunates have at least held their price if not gone up a bit I think so you're probably looking at even more money from this. So yeah, that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, I've now got 200 more archaeology done and I've got a ton of clues to do. I think, you know, uh, as you've seen, over a thousand elites and hards. So um, I think I'm going to stream opening those whenever I've solved them all towards the end of this year. And I will make a highlights video of the opening. So if you'll be interested in that or want to see more, then uh, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.